everyone, my name is Brent Man. I'm the owner of Oneness Videos, and thank you again for checking out this video. Today, we're gonna talk about how to get the best audio. And so, we're just gonna use some tips and tricks that I've used um, doing videos for our churches and our church announcement video, and just many other things that will definitely boost up your audio quality. Um, number one is to make sure that your audio source is close to the mic. So, so what does that mean? So when you have a lapel, make sure it's close. Anything that's far away, such as the mic, it's going to sound very distant. Or if there's an echo, you're really going to pick up the echo. So make sure your shotgun mic or your lav mic is close to the body. Now, lav mics are always going to be close, but make sure they're not rubbing up against any clothes. So make sure you always had have headphones in to kind of monitor that. Another is to make sure that you're turning off the fluorescent lights. Now this might be a little thing, but if you're noticing some buzz or some hum, and you've made sure that your lines are not crossing any electricity uh, cords or anything like that, it's probably the lights above you. So make sure you turn those off because fluorescent lights always have a hum or buzz that you may not be aware of until you get back into the editing suite and notice a little buzz. So make sure you turn off those lights. Also, I just mentioned about not running your audio cable across electricity lines. Um, try to avoid that as much as possible because sometimes you can get an issue with a hum or a buzz um, because it's picking up the, the waves and the electricity and everything and it's coming through your audio. So the next tip I have is make sure that when you're filming somewhere, just sit down in the room or the place where you're going to film at and just listen. See if you hear an air conditioning running, see if you hear a hum somewhere, or if you hear road noise. Now, if it's a lot and it's really loud, you might have to move your location, but a lot of times you can cover up just subtle noises with the music that you use. But the best way to do it is just find somewhere that's really quiet. A next thing that you can do is make sure you're not in an echoey place. A lot of mics can kind of take that out, but most mics you're going to pick up the echo. Um, so make sure you're in a place that doesn't echo, you don't hear really the quote unquote room noise, um, so the audio comes out pure and very nice and very warm and very feeling um, through that. The next thing you'll want to do is to make sure that where you're filming doesn't have a lot of echo or room noise. Make sure you kind of find a place that's kind of dampens the noise. So when you talk, you're not hearing a lot of the room noise or you're not hearing an echo because that can be very distracting. Now you won't be able to remove most of the room noise because I know you're probably just in a, a classroom or an upstairs. A lot of us don't have a professional studio. So just make sure you make aware of that. Uh, you can also put foam on the walls if it's very echoey, if the room is just a little bit. Uh, put some foam on the walls to kind of dampen the noise down for that to get the best audio quality. Um, the last thing, if you're going to film outside, make sure you're far away from any traffic noise because that can be very um, tough to edit out. It's almost impossible to edit out traffic noise. So a loud car going by, a motorcycle, um, or just slamming of doors of a, a semi truck in the distance. Um, filming outside can be very difficult, but it can also look very good. So definitely remember those. Um, if you have any questions about how to do your audio, or if you have a technique that you've used that's awesome um, to get the best audio quality, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Again, my name is Brent Mann. I'm the owner of Oneness Videos, and we'll see you next time.